What up folks, it's Alex here and I'm back again with another shadow video. Now if you didn't catch my original one, I'll pop a link just up here for you to go have a look. In that video we covered some of the absolute basics to actually get you started with your shadow. Now in this video we're going to have a look at three really useful things to know to make sure that you're getting the most out of your shadow. We're going to have a look at the really useful keyboard shortcuts, setting screen resolutions and updating your graphics card drivers. So without further ado, let's have a look, shall we? Number one, keyboard shortcuts. The first one is Control, Windows and F to take you out of full screen mode. So this here is my shadow desktop. If I Control, Windows and F, it'll take it from full screen to Windows mode. It's also useful to note that there's other settings here. So you can actually change the bandwidth on the fly without having to use the launcher just by going to settings and then bandwidth. To get back into full screen, just do the same thing, Control, Windows and F. Shortcut number two is Control, Windows and G. If you press that, you'll see up here it says mouse. And there's three options, mouse auto, mouse locked and mouse unlocked. Mouse locked means I cannot get my mouse outside of the shadow window. So as you can see, I try and drag it onto my own desktop and it gets stuck on the border. So you can't actually control anything on your own PC. You can just control everything within Shadow. If I control Windows and G to make it unlocked, I can now pass the border so I can click on things within my Shadow as well as things outside of it. If you boot up a game with your mouse unlocked, it may cause issues. If your mouse is going absolutely crazy, simply hit control Windows and G to set your mouse to either auto or locked and it will return back to normal. The next one is control Windows and S which will just restart your stream. So if at any point something seems to fall over or you seem to lose connection or something goes a bit strange and it's not acting as it should, Control Windows and S will restart your shadow stream and can help to fix any bugs. And last but not least, Control Windows and Q will close your shadow. Now that won't shut down your shadow, it will just close the application. Number two, <laughs> updating your graphics card drivers. Because your shadow comes with an NVIDIA graphics card, it's always a good idea to update the drivers to make sure everything is up to date. Make sure you're within your shadow and not on your local machine. Open up a web browser and we're going to geforce.com forward slash drivers. There is a link in the description below and you'll be taken to this screen. Now ignore the automatic driver update and the auto detect. It's this manual driver search that you want. And you want to enter in exactly the following GeForce, GeForce 10 Series, GeForce GTX 1080, Windows 1064, English, all, and then you can click on Start Search. That will locate all the drivers available for that graphics card. You want to select the most recent one. In my case, it's the one from Tuesday, January the 15th, 2019. We click the link. And then we click download. The download will begin, so then we can give this a click. If you see this prompt, click yes, click OK, then simply follow the wizard through. During the installation process, your screen may flicker a little bit. This is normal. I advise you not to do anything on your shadow PC while it's performing this process. Just go put the kettle on, make yourself a cup of tea, and leave it to do its thing. And number three, setting your screen resolution. Unless you're lucky, the first time you go on your shadow PC, the resolution will be incorrect. Fortunately, it's easy to change. Hit the Control, Windows and F shortcut to take you out of full screen and minimize shadow. Now on the desktop of your actual PC or laptop, whatever it may be, right click, click on Display Settings and have a look at what resolution your actual PC and screen are set to. In my case, it's 2560 by 1440. Make a note of that and then you can close that window open your shadow again and then repeat the process. So right click on your desktop, hit display settings and then in the resolution I can see this says 2560 by 1080 so I know that's incorrect. So I can click on the drop down box and go to 2560 by 1440. That looks perfect to me. I can hit keep settings and now if I maximize it again it perfectly fits my monitor. If when you click on the drop down box within shadow your resolution isn't there that may mean you're using a slightly obscure or uncommon resolution, so you'll have to add it as a custom resolution. Fortunately, that too is easy to do. First of all, right click on your shadow desktop and click on the NVIDIA control panel. 
Now if you don't see the control panel, that's because you've not yet restarted your machine after installing the driver update. To restart, simply click on start, the power icon and then restart your machine. Once the shadow PC is rebooted, you should see the NVIDIA control panel. Open the control panel and from the menu on the left, select change resolution. Make sure not to click on any options in here, simply click on customize. Any previously defined custom resolutions will be listed. We need to create a custom resolution. In the horizontal pixels and vertical lines, enter the resolution as it was shown on your local machine. If you're not sure if you're using a high refresh rate monitor, that generally means you're probably not. 99% of the time you're okay to leave that at 60. Once you're happy, click on test. The resolution will then be tested to make sure it works, which in my case, it looks okay. You can then choose to either save it or cancel it. I'm going to click yes to save. And then you'll be back on the customize window and that new resolution will be added. Then you click on OK. Now your resolution may not have actually changed yet. You've just created the custom one. You've not actually assigned it. So scroll up in the list to custom, select the custom resolution and then click on apply. If like me, you access shadow on a multitude of different devices with different screens and screen resolutions, you can set multiple custom resolutions for each different device. Right, real quick tip for screen resolution. If you're using your shadow on a nice swanky 4K TV and you're planning to move over to an old scummy low resolution laptop, before you shut down shadow on your TV, just knock the resolution down. If you leave it at 4K, you might not actually be able to access your shadow on your laptop because it won't be able to display the 4K resolution. So knock it down before you turn it off so it's ready to access when you boot up on your laptop. And that's it folks. Hopefully that was useful. If it was, give me a thumbs up. If you've got any queries, comments, feedback, make sure you pop a comment below and don't forget to hit subscribe. We've got plenty more shadowy content coming up, more top tips, updates, news and some general shadowy goodness. So don't forget to hit subscribe. Right, that'll do for now. Have a good one. See you folks. Bye.